Warning, this is not another celebrity dance TV show. This isn't a competition. There are no glittery spandex costumes, no bronze tanner, no fake drama because the cameras are on. That's not what real partner dancing is or what it's about. We believe that learning to dance is just not as complicated as people make it out to be, and we decided to prove it. The question is, can we take regular people just like you who have never danced before, who believe they have two left feet, and turn them into confident social dancers in just one day? No actors, no celebrity coaches, no reality TV hosts. This is real people learning real dancing in real life, and we have one day to make it happen. This is Instant Dancer. Guys, welcome to season one, episode one of Instant Dancer. Now, we're Anthony and Rose. We are full-time dance teachers. We own a couple dance studios. We post videos online of dance instruction, and we feel like people make dancing far more complicated than it is. And That's right. We hear people all the time saying, we could never dance like that. It would take me so long. It just seems so hard and complicated, and we kindly disagree. Yeah, we have this idea. Can we teach somebody to dance in one day? And so that's what we did. We post online. We're looking for somebody we can spend an entire day with and take out dancing. We got a lot of submissions, and we feel like we chose the perfect person for the really very did. first episode of Insta Dancer. That's right. Guys, meet Melissa. Hi, um, my name is Melissa. I'm 33 years old. I was born and raised here in Austin. I'm in nursing school and I have three kids, ages 10, uh, 8, and 6. Since I was little, I've always listened to country music. That's like my favorite. I love listening to it in the car, singing, you know, when nobody's watching, of course. I've always wanted to try to dance and I just never had the time until now. Usually when I get asked to dance, I, um, I'm i nervous because I'm afraid that the person I'm with is going to be way better than me and I'm going to like not know what I'm doing and I don't want to step on his toes or whatever, but I um, figured I'd look up online. And then I saw um, Anthony and Rose like, post a video about they're wanting to find like an Insta dancer, somebody that wants to learn how to dance in a day. and. Um, and so I decided to send in a video about why I wanted to, to do that. I think they're um, both really great people, even though I haven't met them yet, but you know, I've loved watching their videos and how they, um, how they dance and inspire other people to dance. So and I, it's gonna be, I think, just a good experience to be able to meet new people and that have the same interests as me. I just got into Houston. I think I'm more nervous about actual, like, well, being, like, filmed, and then when we actually go out to dance, just, like, being in that atmosphere, like, dancing with other people besides Anthony, and just kind of, you know, just don't know what to expect, but I think they're both supposed to stop. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not from here. Oh. Okay, so how long? All right, we'll see you then. We're gonna be here in 10 minutes. Okay. Let's get Excited. everything ready for it. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi, I'm Rose. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice Melissa, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the studio. Are you ready? You, yeah. <laughs> did you find us okay and everything? Yeah, yeah, the drive was great. Okay, good. Are you the nervous? Weather. A little. Yes, so what are, you, uh, what are you gonna teach us today? I don't know. You're gonna <laughs> teach me. <laughs> Come on in here to the office. Okay. So welcome to Insta Dancer. Okay, so I don't know how much you know about like what the ideas and what the concepts are. I just kind of like take you back to how this idea started and like what we're trying to do with this and everything. So yep. Insta Dancer is the concept of like, you know, we've been doing this for a long time, teaching dance for a long time. And I think that people make dancing far more complicated than it actually is. What does good dancer mean to you? I think it's like not stumbling, like kind of like smooth flowing confidence yes yeah so we're going out country dancing tonight mm -hmm. and so i think the best dance to start you with is going to be two steps this is going to be huge. when you do this you're going to feel good about yeah. it either you're way you're going to but... feel good about it or you're probably going to need some therapy it's just <laughs> going to be we'll one of those two things way it goes. <laughs> but you took the rest so that's good so we're going to do some dance 101 first so what do you think 
I like her. I like her a lot. She's super sweet, but she definitely has a nervous vibe going I on. I think she's great. Like, she's definitely nervous. I mean, I mean, you get to think about it from her perspective. She doesn't live in town. Like, she's never met us before. Like, like she's, she's never, never danced before. Never danced. Like, she's coming in to learn to dance in front of a camera with thousands of people watching. Like, she can yeah. totally mess up. She can totally screw everything up. She can embarrass herself. And, like, she's putting herself out there for the whole I don't even know if I would have done this when I first started. It no, I so would have. There's no you way. You definitely, yeah. No so, way. So we'll see how it goes. I'm so. rooting for her. You ready for your first dance lesson? Yes. Okay. A lot of the stuff I'm going to show you is going to be so basic. It'll be like, you know, like I can't believe you're actually saying this out loud. But when we start putting it together, hopefully it'll make a lot more sense. <laughs> I think the two-step is one of those things where it's just as comfortable as possible. Okay. It's not all formal and like there's yeah. like whatever, it's more, it should feel more relaxed and comfortable. It should just feel like walking. I think it's obviously intimidating at first, but then Anthony makes it really like just fun and just not so serious and just I don't know, it's just, he just made it really easy. And he's really easy to fall. I think doing the basic elements was like a perfect drill for her. I mean, as nervous as she is and seems like going at the right, like what we call the gradient, like just basic, ba give her something that she can do. Yeah, build that, that little bit of confidence. Like, oh, I can do this. Yeah, I mean, and like then, teach her yeah. like, just walk forward. She's like, I, I did that on my way in here. Like I can yeah. do that again. but. I mean, those things, those basic elements are the things that are tying into the dance too. So it's giving her confidence, but at the same time, it's giving her building blocks. Definitely. You can't really build. like use the throwing a baby in the pool to learn a swim approach with this. You yeah. kind of have to let them so, build a little confidence. Yeah, allowing her to experience success along the way is definitely going to help her. <laughs> So the cool thing is, and what we love about two-step, is once you get the core of the thing. It's all sprinkles on the cake. <laughs> then it's just show you different ways yes. to do the stuff you've already done. Yep. All right, so now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna walk through those things with you a couple times, and then I'll start showing, I'll start throwing in some variations. Okay, good luck. Don't know what you do, but you make me feel fine. <laughs> okay. Hey! <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. oh man. It's gonna take a. Oh. You want some Getting used to. Yeah. Some Is the world dramamine or something? And I feel still like feel like I'm like spinning a little bit. Yeah. You can't see it, but I feel like my brain is like my head hurts. <laughs> uh, I didn't think I would get so dizzy. But it's worth it. It's just oh my head. Definitely one thing I didn't think would happen. At least this fast. Just for a minute. Um, when I was getting dizzy, I was like, oh God, like, I didn't think it was gonna happen. I didn't think that I was gonna, you know, be affected that much by just turning. But I think it's just cause I'm getting older and I'm not used to spinning that much. Um, yeah, so that was definitely surprising. Cause it wasn't gonna come like fully, nat you know, like naturally to me, obviously you have to work at it. I didn't think there was gonna be, I mean, I've seen like turns, but you know, I didn't really think that like, 
how much actually goes into it, where it was gonna really like get to me that much to where like my, you know, I almost like fell over or just like my head was pounding and just needing to like sit down and close my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I definitely didn't think it was gonna be easy. <laughs> Holy cow, like uh, that bad. is something that I did not expect to happen. It's and really bad. She's really sick right now. Yeah, I mean, maybe we just chose the wrong dance to teach. I mean, two step is just a lot of spins. And now I, I almost like feel guilty because like, I know. she's not feeling too good right now. And she has to go out tonight with all the it's lights, gonna make it all worse. the people yeah. all around. Yeah, it's not, it's, I don't even know if she's gonna be able to make it out tonight. I, I feel you know bad that. at this point because I spun her so many times and here I thought it was making a joke and now she is like laying around like she's gonna die. We'll see so, if she can pull through. All right, let's just give her some time. Let's give her some time to kind of calm down a little bit, get her some water, give her some rest, Relax. and then we'll see where we can go from there. Okay, so she's doing a little bit better. Do you think that she's ready? To do, go I mean, again. I want to get through the thing. I mean, like, so we've got this plan. This is our mission. This is our goal. I, I think that she can do it. I mean, she's walking around. She's moving but around. I don't want to. I don't want to push her. No, I don't want to push her to the point where she's gonna like throw up or something like that. So maybe we just need to like go back to the basics and just let's just try it. Let's just try some basics. Let's see how she does and if she's doing okay with I that. I want her to. I want her to enjoy this. That's the most important part of this. So just ease her into it. Maybe try a dip or something like that, and then go from there, well, ease her in. Let's go through the basics first. Let's get her back through that stuff. And then once she's done the basics, build then we confidence. can just build, yeah, I mean, so, so once she started, we make sure she's okay, then we can try a dip and then we can you know, figure it be, out from there. Be nice. I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna go through this stuff again, and then I'm gonna lead you into some of those variations. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call out to you verbally, forward to back, back to forward. That's what you really need to be focusing on. You need to be focusing on the rhythm, going forward and one and a half turns. It's just those three assumptions. dips and lifts and all that stuff are not done through strength. They're not really done through weight and all this other stuff. They're done through leverage. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at you go. Oh man. All right, so let's be honest. Do you feel ready for the dance floor? Yes. That, I'm not convinced. Say <laughs> yes, I'm ready for the dance floor. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. Um, I'm gonna have you, you can go back to your hotel room, you can get ready, you can do all that stuff. We're gonna do the same thing and then we'll give you a call and then okay. we'll meet up at the dance hall. Sounds good. All right, good job. Thank you. <laughs> um, I didn't realize how out of breath I was gonna be. Um, it's really a workout, it's more than, you know, whenever you see someone else dancing, it looks like it's like effortless and it's just, you don't have to do anything. But it's definitely more than that. It's definitely, <laughs> there's definitely a lot more to it. I'm ready, I'm still a little nervous. I think I'll be nerv more nervous whenever I'm not dancing with Anthony and someone else asks me to dance. That's like the true test I think of like, how I'm gonna do, but yeah, I'm excited. All right guys, so we are here. We're at uh, Houston Stampede. We're gonna go in. Uh, I think that Melissa's going to be just a little bit late. So we're gonna get in, try to find a table somewhere to sit and get acclimated before she shows up. Is she gonna bail? Or not. Is she nervous? I think she actually is a little nervous, so, but I think she'll it's be here. What you're doing, 
Country dancing in Texas is just a completely different experience than it is anywhere else in the world. You can go pretty much any night of the week from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you're going to find hundreds if not thousands of people dancing two steps, swing, waltz, and just filling the dance floor. When Melissa finally showed up. You could tell she was nervous. She's walking. She's got her hands in her pockets. She's not quite for sure what she's supposed to be doing. And when I asked her out onto the dance floor and held her in my arms, she was visibly shaking. She's looking around, looking in every direction, not sure if she's doing what she was taught. But once she got settled into things, you could tell she stopped paying attention to everything around her and just started settling into the dancing. When she realized it wasn't that big of a deal, then I started to see Melissa show up. She started to smile, she started to laugh, and she really started to have a great time. The next test is, can Melissa do these things being led by someone other than me? Unfortunately, she's not gonna be able to take me with her everywhere she goes, so we wanted to make sure that someone else would be able to dance with her and she would be able to follow that person just as well. The cool thing is once you get asked to dance a couple of times and people see that you actually can dance, people will start asking you to dance more and that's exactly what happened. Now the thing is, is in Texas, is not everyone at the dance hall has had lessons. Not everybody really fully knows what they're doing and they could be leading just about anything. So the real test comes, can she follow somebody who dances a very unorthodox style, something that they're just kind of making it up as you go? And we feel like Melissa did an amazing job even in that scenario. Overall, we are so excited about how well this went. Thank you, Melissa, so much for being our first ever Insta Dancer, and we look forward to seeing you back on the dance floor again soon. Guys, we hope you had as much fun watching this as we did doing this. We are looking for the next Insta Dancer. If that is you, if you're somebody who's never danced before, danced very little, you feel like you can't do it, let us prove you wrong. Click that link right there. That'll take you to a page where you can send in your submission, and we'll see you on the dance floor.